Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, new update today. New floor and new story episode. And for once, I didn't look at, at Twitter <laughs> before starting stream. So it's not... Uh, I'm actually entirely blind this time, as opposed to... What do you mean no game volume? There's no volume on the... Is it not picking up any volume? <laughs> yeah, there's no volume in the title screen. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that was fast. Um. <laughs> okay. The dream has been shattered. The tower has collapsed. Scene 5, Urban Nightmare. And the dogs are going crazy for some reason. New orange? Oh boy. There's always going to be a new orange from now on, I take it. L Corp, the white nights and dark days, the distortion and the library. L Corp, the what? Can you? One second. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. It's because my dad just got home. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, I Uh, Yeah, I know Bremen and Kuro didn't, but they did have two dice pages. Uh, anyways, are you kidding me? I'm so annoyed. Elcorp, the White Knights and Dark Days, the Distortion in the Library. With these, this, those four have been confirmed to be closely associated with each other. It caught me off guard. Who could have expected the library of all places to be a key factor of the White Knights and Dark Days? And the library's location has finally been clearly determined. It's as if the library is revealing more of itself the more danger it is considered. The building shimmering like a mirage in the midst of a fog shrouding the nest of Elcorp. 
Those who tried to approach it got lost in the mist. We should prepare ourselves soon enough. Since that mirage is slowly becoming a reality as the fog is clearing up. That means... Yes, we received an official document. As of today, the library is designated as an urban nightmare by HANA Association HQ. Think you're getting closer? To what? The freedom you've been yearning for, I mean. I don't know. The one book is steadily on its way to completion, though. Is that book really going to resolve everything magically for you? The library quite literally holds infinite possibilities. Every possible combination of letters is written inside the books. That's a lot of monkeys. Uh, <laughs> but mere fragments of those possibilities are worthless on their own. With the help of the invitation, I can navigate the countless possibilities and reach the ones I need for one perfect book. As I weave the books in the light following the invitation's lead, I will complete the one absolute book. I will create the book that contains all the answers I seek. That doesn't sound impossible, theoretically. I'm not just hanging on to theoretical possibilities. I could learn a lot from seeing the various sides of the city in the process of creating the one book. This has its own meaning. Then I realize once again that without the book there's no way to find the answer from the city. What do you mean you can't find the answer from the city? I learned one thing from reading all the books of the inhabitants of the city thus far. No one is truly free in the city. Every person is chained to something. Not a single thing appears to be done out of free will. Fixers obey their offices, and those offices obey the associations, even if they know full well that their orders might get them killed. The same goes for the syndicates. Everyone is heading somewhere, but no one knows where, and no one can decide where to go. They're all drifting along with the flow. I thought money could get you anything in the city, including freedom and whatever. They could be free, but they aren't. They actually seem to shun freedom. They want to belong to something that isn't themselves. They like to define themselves by the organization they belong to, or valuations made by others. I think that's a typo. Their essence is so fragile, they can't specify their own identity without encasing themselves in such a shell. Yes, this what me... Oh. This must be what the disease of the mind was all about. I was imprisoned underground and exploited for the freedom of the people of the city, after all. Taking away my freedom so that others can be free. To spread his enlightenment to the rest of the city. Talking about your previous occupation, huh? I am. I actually want to crush everything to dust at this point. I want to ruin it all. What about my freedom? Who will hold the responsibility for creating me and then carelessly leaving me to suffer? I sometimes want to just forget everything. The library, the one book, all of it. Do you know how it feels to be denied since the very moment you were born? I do. I'm painfully aware. Because that's how my creator treated me. I would have loved for him to at least tell me what I did wrong. All I could see of him was a pair of cold eyes without a single speck of expectation and a quiet remark. A tiny whisper ordinary humans couldn't have heard. It's only a machine. I can still remember that moment so vividly as if it saw it happened seconds ago. I curse my memory. I curse this body that hears words I don't want to listen to. I curse this head that reminds me of things I don't want to remember. He sounds like a nasty person. If he needed a machine to serve repetitive tasks, why did he bother breaking the ethics amendment to create you with human emotions and everything? I wasn't exactly born with the capability to feel emotions. It slowly awakened inside me over monotonous repeats. No, perhaps the truth is that he designed me so my emotions would awaken over time. Perhaps because the repetitive tasks needed emotions. He needed something that could form an independent response to slight variations in the ever-repeating script, all the while enduring aeons of time. Something he could keep in control so that it wouldn't try to deviate from the script. It wasn't a human-like machine that he needed. He needed a human with the properties of a machine. You'll never know how many desperate struggles I made to stomach the cycle. Those being... 
closing my eyes. All I could do in the endless stream of moments I didn't want to see but had to witness was shut my eyes. That was the least and the most I could do to resist it. Real nasty. But hey, that role you were forced to play did wrap up somehow. You can think about what to do next now, right? Are you telling me to just forget about the past and move on? Try to be more attentive before you jabber nonsense. I can never forget. Keeping my eyes closed couldn't protect me anymore. Even a moron would have been able to envision exactly what would happen and what kind of face everyone would make after so much time. Every second of that was inscribed into my memory, slowly and painfully. I can't forget anything once I've seen it. I still remember everything so vividly. That's why I can't forgive that man, he who left without trying up any loose ends with me. The man who created me on a whim and then let my life be crushed under the weight of time. Nah, who am I to tell you to leave the past behind or anything? I'm just suggesting you think about your next move. It can provide a little bit of support for you at least, kind of like making a fence around yourself. It's going to serve as a floor to fall back on in your never-ending plot of vengeance. I didn't think you'd care that much for me. It's ultimately for myself, really. Still, it seems evident that I am heading somewhere, seeing as my body is undergoing changes. My mechanical exterior is turning to flesh and blood has started to course through it. I still have a long way to reach the one book, though. Could you actually be becoming a human? That seems to be the case, although it's not quite perfect yet. Perhaps I could become a genuine human at the end of this journey. When I do, I could forget so many things so easily. Free from the deluge of memories drowning me. If I can let all that unwanted memories slide away, then I might think about what to do next, like you said. Okay. <laughs> uh... Detail of her perceiving times a hundred times slower than other people is definitely top-tier asshole design material. True. <laughs> like, just look away, haha, <laughs> like, just close your eyes. Roll and stop. Okay. So one thing that changed is now max level for pages is 30. Uh, which is a little bit annoying. Also, Leno, you're going to use Walter's page, because I said so. Because I have an idea. Pearson Slash, do I... I could take the one off of Nistrian, I suppose. Because <laughs> I want to use Hod's group today. Is this it? Nope. Uh, which Walter is it? This... It shouldn't be this one. Yeah, that's just all Pierce. It's this one. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to equip it, not empty the bookshelf. Let me uh, get those back. I was using a hard rehearsal setup, which I don't normally do. Be those, and then I had a uh, butterfly slash, and I had cumulus cloud. Wall, even. There we go. And then everybody here is a full setup. Yep. All right. <laughs> Rip. Good luck leveling up pages to 30. It takes tons of XP. Oh. Oh, buddy. Where is it? Oh, buddy, you don't even know. <laughs> I have 300 Zvi South Section 6 Volume 2s. I have plenty of stuff to get XP with. In fact, I'm going to start out by getting these guys leveled up if I can. I'm glad they fixed this audio glitch. That was fixed before, but I just... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I freaking... I did grinding for all of the... Oh my, you were not kidding. Um... <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe it'll take a bit more than I expected. If this is only getting me up, like, a couple of levels. Dis disregard all the Oscars pages I have. Um, that was only three levels. Okay. 
Esco likes grinding books. I wasn't grinding for books, I was grinding for battle symbols. Speaking of, I need to change this guy's battle symbols, because now he's not using pierce damage. the other slash one, wasn't it? Uh, it was headwear 3, I think. I don't need block dice power, so I'm just going to do one stagger. <laughs> the hat. Uh, <laughs> where the heck is uh, Lonesome Outcast? It's cheek, right? Yeah, I don't need it. Okay. So we're in Urban Nightmare now, and oh boy. <laughs> Took like seven carnival pages to level up one level. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna make sure, actually, that... Oh, thank you, Mr. Van Levi, for the follow. Appreciate it. I am gonna actually equip the other... Walter's page here. and then give it the same setup, even though it doesn't have the same bonuses. Because <laughs> there's no good uh, attack that does pierce and slash in the final tier, except for Daring Decision. And on... Ah! Thank you, Macrosis. <laughs> hi, hi, Van. I'm going to do Scattering Slash on this one, and I'll do, like... Uh, <laughs> I'll do a uh, flash of sun up. So it's not exactly the same, but we're going to go in with this team. Because I like this team. Alright. Oh boy. Book of full stop office. Book of the musicians of Bremen. Oh, I only have one of those? Really? Okay. I, I guess I better hope I win this. Because... Just figure out how to de-encrypt the encrypted 3DS files, and now I can play Pokemon Art Academy. Ah! I knew we would fight She Association! Oh boy! <laughs> this is Six Association, for people who don't know. <laughs> Director! How could this even be considered tolerable? Suppress your feelings, and remind yourself. Money, fame, and power rule over this world. She is four? Oh. I, I... Wait. No, I thought it was ten, because the same word translates to ten in Chinese. No, she means death. Okay, well... <laughs> He may be a color, but that does not excuse the severity of a fixer who doesn't even belong to our association setting us all up. He's doing it so blatantly, too. They're talking about the blue reverberation, aren't they? So what? Are you going to betray the association, kill branch manager Thelma, and then kill the blue reverberation for our freedom? I don't see a way out of this. I heard even the smiling faces are involved. Who the heck is smiling faces? <laughs> This is rotten to the core. Director, what has become of the core values of the Shi? The very identity of our association. If you want to overthrow the system, have patience. And sharpen your strength. There's nothing we can do in our current state. The director is right. We can't do anything about it right now. Damn it. She's leaving us with all the dangerous requests, knowing that we're fatigued. Director Eugen will rise to become the president of Shi one day. Oh! That- those dots just connected to me. The guy on the right is Eugen, isn't it? We'll be able to shake up this corrupted system once that time comes. This is the guy that sent full stop office to fight the Church of Gears. <laughs> Which explains why you need the Book of Full Stop Office to fight him. We are Section 2. 
Our role is simply to take care of the tasks given to us. Director, we've been dealing with urban nightmare class cases for 10 consecutive days. Taking out the Patria of the Naraka clan, Naraku clan, the retrieval of Oblivion ingots, the destruction of the fragment from beyond, demolishing the thin beef skirt factory, and eliminating the captain of the steel comrades just yesterday. We had to resolve all these requests in the last 10 days without even a break. We normally shouldn't be handling more than one such case per week. Most fixers of the southern branches section 2 have already died. And none of those who survived are in good enough condition to proceed with another request, including us. We're on the brink of a breakdown, both physically and mentally. You've seen how Section 3 and its associate offices got wiped out in a wave of unreasonable requests, and the same is happening to us now. And most of all, your condition is looking worse than any of us, Director Eugene. You stood at the front and fought more vehemently than anyone to keep others from getting hurt. Broken parts can be mended and wounds can be sewn up. Your injuries are simply too severe to be healed up in a day or two, Director. Everyone in Section 2 has suffered damage that would take much longer than a few days' recovery, in fact, unless we had K-Corp Singularity or something. You worry too much. We'll handle the library requests just like any other requests we've done so far. Director Eugen, even if we were to handle this job successfully, they'll still hand us yet un more absurd cases. Valentine has a point. We might have to re receive endless requests until Section 2 is annihilated and you are killed, Director. I do have plans. In the end, the root of this matter lies with the blue reverberation. We aren't heading to the library simply to obey our superior's orders. Our objective is to retrieve the books of the musicians of Bremen. They're what we need to uncover the Blue Reverberation's plots. What? The fact that they've managed that many urban nightmare quests in that amount of time should be a warning to how absolutely elite these guys are. Well, they are urban nightmare class, so... <laughs> what do you mean? I received a tip-off that the person who appeared to be a leader of the syndicate named the Musicians of Bremen spoke to the Blue Reverberation some time ago. Yeah. Those appear to be woof, doodle-doo, and hee-haw. But Tanya appears to not be present, so maybe she's not part of the Musicians. Are you suggesting that the books of the musicians could contain information about the blue reverberation? They don't. I've already read them. <laughs> we will at least be able to find out what is conspiring. Then the reason you sent full stop office to assassinate the Church of Gears was also... I understand your intention, but acquiring that information isn't going to be the end of it. What exactly are you planning to do? I will take my own measures once this request is done. Can we actually trust this, Director? Can you promise us that you aren't going to harm yourself for the sake of Section 2? You've always been so self-sacrificing, Director. You can count on me. I know my own life matters. We can't turn the tide if we're dead. Gather up the ones who can still move and fight. We don't want to bring anyone who will only prove to be a burden there. Understood. She's still honest to a fault. Are you really sure that you're... Are you really sure you're just a small no-name fixer? Even I can tell your connections are simply too broad and deep for their mediocre fixer at this point. To answer your question, yes, I'm only a grade 9 fixer. That's after I fell to rock bottom in a turn of events, though. I used to be a common fixer, really. Is that so? What grade were you at before then? Would you believe me if I said I was a kick-ass grade one fixer? It's honestly hard to believe, but if you say so. Wow, that was a lot less distrust than I expected. Anyway, I was just an ordinary fixer who mostly collected intel. That's why I got so many connections. I can only put up a decent fight now thanks to the new body you gave me in the library's powers. You said his trust is important to this business, right? Is it okay to see an acquaintance of yours die like that? It's unfortunate to see him struggle, yeah. 
Here's the thing, though. We only saw things from their perspective. You think they're free from the blame of killing some other people who struggled for life and fought for change? I suppose not. That's how it is. Someone they killed must have been in circumstances as unfortunate as theirs. Well, unless they weren't. Point is, there's no way for everyone to be equally happy. It's a matter of perspective. So they opt to simply do their work without ever trying to get to know each other. Everyone has their own stories. But we can't give up for ours for the sake of someone else's. Like what we're doing. That's that, and this is this. We've done all the first aid we could give. Director. Focus on the work for now. Oh, that's a girl. <laughs> I just realized that. Focus on the work for now. We'll take care of what we can first. Greetings, dear guests. Greetings. I am Eugen, director of She's Section 2. Introduce yourselves, everyone. Huh? But... When someone greets us, it's only polite for us to greet them back, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. I am Tenma, associate fixer of Section 2 of the She. Valentine, associate fixer of Section 2 of the She. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. I came here through the invitation to acquire the books that are said to be here. Then you may find your books in this place, dear guests. That was not a long introduction. Um... <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Damn boy, he thick. <laughs> They endure slash damage, because of course they do, which means screw this group. <laughs> uh, after an ally dies, gain one strength and one endurance. Each scene for the rest of the act stacks up to three times. So it's a stronger version of the carnival pages. Starts the battle with 75% less HP. You just have to stack 20 bleed. Well, apparently they only start with 25% of that. What exactly I'm going to find out when I look at the combat pages, aren't I? Alright. Oh. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That's annoying. Wait a minute. Hold on. That makes sense. Um. So let me get this straight. Their cards... Yeah, I do remember that, Tamari Page. Their cards are based on triggering effects when your HP is 25% lower, which I like. But why do they have to start at that amount of HP? <laughs> if HP is 25% or lower, restore one light on you, draw one page. Okay, well, at least it doesn't do a lot of damage. Deal 5 damage to self, all dice gain plus 2 power. Ah, <laughs> so like the normal amount of HP. If HP is at 25% or lower, I'll get dice gain plus one power. They have a lot of that card in their deck. All right, does anybody have anything different? I doubt it. So yours is gonna suck though, because I mean, I don't have any one weak to slash damage. Uh, is anybody weak to blunt? Yes. In fact, most of this team is weak to blunt damage, which sucks, but I mean... I'll have to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> they are also weak to blunt damage, though. They did fight urban nightmares for ten straight days. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that they're meant to be tired. But that is a lot of HP to start with. Alright, let's just get into it. See how badly this turns out. Oh boy, that didn't take long. Oh, I, <laughs> I have the not the setup I was expecting for this. Um, second hit is guaranteed to not go through. That's fine. I can't redirect that either. All right, uh, who's not targeting him? You look like a prime candidate. Or so, and I'll rule on this guy. Uh, oh, good. 
Um. Go ahead and struggle. Actually, should I maybe lose some? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I refuse. Will produce fine silk does a ton of damage though, so. Oh my god, my stagger resist. I'm glad they actually give me two floors, because otherwise this would be annoying as hell. Ten? Alright, good job. Neato. And there's the ten bleed. <laughs> okay. Um, this guy has a fragile on him, so I should be able to focus him down. And I can find Silk this turn, too. Uh, oh my god, why? <laughs> uh, I want to find Silk on this guy, but it sucks because I can't do anything about this guy. Wow. No one rolled a six because no one can. Yeah, they do make great gimmick builds. Yeah, imagine match girl's apno card. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason they ultimately decided not to allow you to use those on enemies anymore. Because <laughs> that would just kill them instantly. Alright, who am I inflicting bleed on this turn? Can't be you. I could just inflict it on the same guy again, but that feels cheaty. I'll do it to you. Odd rehearsal. Um, cumulus wall on that guy. And then you can shrine to music. Because of course you can. Trying to music is an amazing card. Ah, thank you, farm friend, for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate it. Go. Oh, that's not good. Because it means Hot is going to get hit before she gets the... Okay, she didn't stagger. We're good. Look at that bleed. <laughs> And now he dies. <laughs> okay, Sanguine Desire. Oh my god, I hate this. This attack really is annoying right now. Um, I can't even hard rehearse. No, I can hard rehearsal against it, actually. I can ink over. Which might be a smart idea, considering the strength of that attack. Yeah. And then you can only clean up this turn, but that's fine. Uh, Shrine to Music, I guess. Who do I need to redirect again? You. No, not you. Nobody. Huh. Alright, uh, target the guy who has fragile one. Oh shit, new floor? Yeah. Finally was able to fund you online. <laughs> yeah, today's update day. Uh, can I do anything else? I can roll some back streets. This is the annoying thing about selecting these attacks. You gotta do it in the right order, or else you won't attack in the right order. There. Now I just need to pray that Hod doesn't stagger herself with a block. Oh. Or that. <laughs> well, that sucks. At least they don't inflict bleed. Because that would be annoying. Oh god, this music. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're struggling a little bit? Have some funny music. Alright, who all is attacking Hod? You are. You, sir, are going to die. <laughs> Actually, I should leave with the Cumulus Wall, shouldn't I? Ooh, bleed times. Um... Only really that guy needs to be bled right now. So I'll just bleed this one and then redirect him. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Do that. There. Die. No. <laughs> Shrine to Music, a new card? Shrine to Music is from... I 
believe Moo Moo's page. There was a glitch when it first came out that it didn't appear. That is true. This turn is not going to go great. Yeah. Didn't really have a choice, though. Get that bleed on. That guy should die this turn. Uh, <laughs> he'll just... Oh, no. Because he doesn't start taking bleed damage till next turn. That's right. Okay, calm down. <laughs> this is getting unfortunate now. I really hate this. <laughs> I really do. I can hard rehearsal every single turn. That's not an issue. Uh, oh, dried up. <laughs> I don't want to use dried up on him though. Okay. Um, this is gonna suck this turn. Like most people are gonna. I think Deem is probably gonna die. <laughs> Nobody in the next deck has like two pages of passives. It's easy street from here. <laughs> I just doubt that. Okay, we managed to kill one of them before Hot died. That's cool. That's Deem dead, which sucks, but at least we killed one on the same turn. Oh, I guarantee you the next act is going to be stupid. <laughs> Alright. Hey, look at all these cards in my hand. It's... Butterfly Slash could kill if it actually hits all the way. Uh, then you can just... I have power plus two. What's my strongest attack? Should be B Rules of the Backstreets. Notice how the person who has Walters... Really? I rolled minimum on it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. What? Hold on. I wasn't paying attention. Did I just roll a 12? <laughs> uh. Meal, give to him. Oh, I should have given it to Hod. Oops. Well, at least we got through phase one pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, I can tell the new stuff is going to be pretty hard overall. All right, let's see. Oh, they just got a regular. Oh, who was it that just lied to me? Charlie. <laughs> also, first time a gold page is actually showing up as gold. And I want to point out, this is the first time a gold page is resisting blunt. Long, long, long. 348 HP. I can't believe I've done this. Leslie, I'm so happy to find someone who is great and actually tries to play the game and don't yell ST at, for being unfair because of using starting cards. Yeah, I, I have noticed people doing that before. All right. Oh, he's a cheater. Good to know. Uh, we'll read those later. Okay, let's see. Speed dice slot plus two. Restore two light upon using a page whose original cost is four or higher. Once per scene, respond to a one-sided attack with a block roll. Roll four to nine does not apply to cases where both characters use a combat page and the opponent has more dice. All speed die becomes unavailable. Oh, a speed die becomes unavailable. All dice gain plus four power. All dice lose minus three power. Uh... <laughs> After an ally dies, gain one strength and one endurance. Starts the battle with 75% less HP. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, he does have three speed dice. Since their max HP is almost 300 or over, HP recovery is useful, maybe. True, but all their stuff relies on having low HP. Alright, what about you, Valentine? Speed dice slot plus one. Really? I'm going to check her combat pages, don't worry. When using a combat page with one die, the die gains plus two power. That's actually really interesting. 
boundary of death equals four cost 25% of my motion dairu. Okay. Uh Tenma also has two dice. Okay, this fight is gonna be brutal. At the start of the scene, restore one light if the current light is zero. Okay, that's like average. Obviously the she fixer is the least threatening thing here because it's a green page. But we got two purples and a gold to fight through. All right, combat pages. Of course, you have one of those. Flying sword, gain two haste next scene. I was wondering when they were going to introduce more haste cards. Oh? <laughs> Flashing strike, if speed is seven or higher, all dice gain plus two power. I do see that she has two to six speed. And then everybody has that. Uh, all right. On hit, inflict one disarm. Disarm is defensive dice, lose X power for the scene. Oh, that's what, okay. Uh, and then that's his only unique card. But boy, is it strong. They came to the library before beating 10 tests. Jeez. Yeah. This is gonna be hard. And then Eugene has two of those, one of each of those, and then exclusive combat page can only be used with specific key pages. Okay, it's a one to four pierce. If the die rolls the max value that is four or higher, add plus 45 power. Um, <laughs> that's not okay. Uh. Now, I do notice that not only does it need to be max value, it also has to be four or higher. So, if you inflict feeble on him, if you inflict a bunch of feeble onto him and then he uses it, then he can't possibly get it. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that inflicts feeble right now. Uh, let's reveal in the entertainment value of the fact that the guys with the red and black design has a card called Extreme Edge. Uh, <laughs> wasn't that her? Uh, no, it was it was Valentine, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> one feeble is not enough. Yeah, she does have plus one, so you need at least two feeble. But that honestly shouldn't be too hard to inflict, right? Also, I'm just gonna try to kill the Section 2 Fixer and then deal with the rest later. Also, you can't paralyze yourself into doing 1-1 one, one and killing everyone ever. True. Well, that's true. I forgot that was an actual strategy, actually. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, ink over on him and then do some damage to Eugene. Eugene doesn't actually resist Slash which is cool. Uh, I'm literally just gonna try to kill this back guy. Uh, I am gonna do damage to Eugene if I can though, because, you know. Let me try to bleed him. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> That's why I did the rules of the back streets on him. care. Yeah, Hod's probably gonna die next turn. That's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, right! I forgot how their back... how their side abilities worked. Uh, one page. I'm just gonna let her die. <laughs> Honestly. This is like... Because what can she do before getting hit? The answer is I can use Flash of Sun up. <laughs> Maybe it does have plus one power, but there is still technically a two out of five chance that I beat this. 
and then rules of the back. Actually, I should rules of the back streets on that one, <laughs> and then flash of sun up over here, because I know that's not gonna work. Die? No. <laughs> I'm gonna try as hard as I can not to, Joel. But thanks. Oh. Uh. That's annoying. I can't do anything about them gaining haste. Ooh, I can actually inflict Eugene with bleep. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Why didn't that kill? Oh, because I resist. That's right. What just happened? Ooh. <laughs> Why is that pierce damage? I don't know. <laughs> 37 health. I don't know if I'll be able to finish him off. Also, this is going to hurt. Uh... Yeah, this sucks. Oh, no. Watch this damage I'm about to take. Never mind. Let me guess. He's going to roll a 45. <laughs> I think. No, he's going to do that first. Oh! <laughs> okay! He just dealt 102 damage in one hit. Um... <laughs> and I can't do anything this round, so just kill me. <laughs> Badass. Yeah, the hit staggered. <laughs> Alright, Netzack. A team, come on. Yep, 25% worked. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do it. Who's the biggest threat here? Because now I can actually focus on... Wait, what? One feeble and two endurance? Why does he have that? That's a glitch, right? Because that's only supposed to apply to Philip, I thought. But she also has it. Yeah, I know Philip had it. I just wasn't sure why these guys did. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> that's not good. Um, I resist slash damage, but it'll still stagger me. Um, you can live it. Oh no, it's pierce damage. You need to hit it. No, you do. <laughs> Listen, okay? I need to figure out how to play this. You need to take this hit. 100%. There is no way around that. Maybe they just felt bad for the fixers that died. How's it going, Arcelius? And also, I can't read that. Who this? Dottis? How are you both doing? Welcome. Uh... Charlie, my statement last time is now mute. <laughs> yes, you are. That card is weak to gun cards. I figured. Oh, yeah, no. Because I actually have to roll max value. So it adds the power after it rolls. So I can still block it pretty easily. And I can just fence on that. Um... Who's weak to pierce over here? Nobody. All right, well, fair enough. <laughs> uh, do you think a trans pierce could hit this guy? I think it probably could, because he has feeble right now. And I can high speed stabbing the dude in the back. Uh, every time they clash, yeah. Yes, that does make sense. Oh wait, is that pointed at me? <laughs> Realistically, it was just for Phil. They would have made a fancy looking card for it. Their artist does work, true. Weeb's destroyed by guns yet again. <laughs> uh, true. Um, oh my god, I hate, I hate Tenma's passives. 
just the... Well, I guess it's not really ten mods for cards. Just that one card doing insane damage is annoying. She's weak to, to slash stagger? Excuse me? <laughs> um... All right. And then I can just rule on the back streets. Who do I want to deal with, though, is the thing. Yujin doesn't resist slash. You do. I want to deal with this dude in the back. Because he's annoying. Yeah, she can't go below too light as well. After this, have fun using their page on Netzach's floor. A token of friendship heals like 20 HP per turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, except with their cards, you don't really want to heal, I thought. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was max damage. It did 23. He rolled a 50. God. <laughs> At least it costs four, so he can't spam it. God! He's doing it again. Oh, wait. No, he's not. This is a graphical glitch. Because there's no way that that costs four. <laughs> oh, he has strength plus two? Alright. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, that's not avoidable. I really need to start killing some of them, or else I'm gonna be screwed. Uh... <laughs> yes, you're going to take that. But I'm not gonna use you yet. Um... I, I, need, I need to end this guy in the back really quickly. Hold on, don't you have feeble? You have feeble and strength. <sighs> um, what are you using? That's not a four cost. Why does it keep displaying that? It's still good to heal at the point you reach 25% again. The enemy is already pretty badly damaged. True. It's a glitch, but it still gets consumed. It's even happening to Tamari and Philip. Well, they always cost zero, so it doesn't really matter to them. See, the sucky thing is that I don't really have enough strength to actually finish this guy off this turn. Uh, because all of my hits are going to deal slash. Let me do this, and then I'll hit him with a flash of sun up. Uh, you can't even attack. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> huh. Those all gain plus two power. Let me... Wait, not only do those all gain plus two power, she also has two strength. So I don't think there's any way I can stop her from killing me this turn. Plus she has eight speed. So all I can hope to do is block some of the hits, really. It actually is a 1 in 16. <laughs> what? You won 5%? <laughs> Almost the same, yeah. I can't stop him from hitting her, unfortunately, but Joel is pretty beefy, so I don't really mind. I actually beat it! Holy crap! <laughs> Paralyze him. If he lives, he'll be paralyzed. Ow! <laughs> as far as we are concerned, pretty much. Eh. And he has strength. I can't do anything to stop that. Because he has so much stagger resist, too. I mean, on the plus side, it won't instantly kill me. Um... <laughs> I need to kill this guy. Another 
25% is coming for you. I don't think it's 25%. <laughs> I can high speed stabbing against it. Um, <laughs> where's the other one going? I can't, I'm gonna lose this 100%, but I need to try to at least finish this guy off, otherwise I'm not gonna have a chance, right? Constant feeling of almost there being in this fight while looking at their HP bar is indeed very annoying. <laughs> it needs to be max damage regardless of the value. True, but he's gotten it every single time he's gone for it. Is the issue. So... Yeah, he just got it again. So I don't know if the card is glitched a little bit or not. Because... It might only be factoring in the needing to hit... Max. Also, that guy's dead, thankfully. Uh, that's so much damage, though. Okay. Stop! Okay. Every single turn, he's gonna use this. And it's so annoying. At least it's on the person who can definitely live it. Can't redirect that there. But I can redirect it here. Um... All right, apparently that's only going to cost me one. Thanks, game. I need to kill Eugene, otherwise I'm not going to have any chance here. I know he's going to kill... He is going to kill Netzak, probably. Or at least come very close. It won't stagger me. <laughs> Which is cool. I like not being staggered. Okay, he didn't get max that time. Good. Staggered her. That means I can kill her next turn. Good. Okay, we might have a chance. <laughs> but Eugene needs to die. He does too much damage. Tenma, I think I can finish. It is a glitch. NPC luck. It's actually 25% when I used it, regardless of it being 4 or above. You are incredibly unlucky. It took me about 6 tries to make it work. <laughs> uh, well, we're through the hard part. Uh, I can easily send somebody over to kill Tenma. But I don't know who it should be. <laughs> uh, I don't think that'll kill, so I can probably just Sparking Spear her. Staring decision on him. Handle requests. You've got to block it. That was the wrong one, but I can still fence it. And then hard rehearsal on him. And then sc not scattering slash, because you're not getting targeted. That's fine. Wow, I cannot believe that Valentine was the least threatening in my eyes. Okay, that's Tenma down. No, the others will even have a harder time. You've done well holding out until this end. Thank you for being with us. Eugene is just so polite. <laughs> Here comes the level four. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Everything is going to Netzak. Okay. I'm finishing him off. I don't care how much damage Netzak takes. Again, nobody's attacking you, so don't use Scattering Slash. Uh, go ahead and just... do that. Uh, Raging Demon, again! <laughs> What's the card actually called? Boundary of Death. Which is honestly a good name for a card, but also... Uh... <laughs> Really isn't that reliable, I just keep it in the deck because of seeing a big dick bonk every now and then is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. And of course I fail, but oh well. Oh! <laughs> well, goodbye, Natsak. He's not actually dead. Oh, now he is. Oh no! <laughs> He's not dead because I forgot how uh, Oscar's page worked. Uh, 
We actually managed to win. How do you make this happen? Goodbye. <laughs> uh, it works with Brawl, too, if that means anything. It doesn't mean anything to me. This is streamer unluck at its finest. Wait. Did I not get the Book of Eugene? <laughs> Chinese character means death, and we call it as she, as Japanese way. That is why they are she association and 45 power card can have the same effect. That's a luck for you. I'm honestly shocked that I just won that. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Uh, <laughs> also, I like how it just refreshed Charlie's thing. I can't even scroll through all the books I resolved. <laughs> Look at all those she associations, though. So I got two for Valentine, two for Eugene, and one for Tenma. Watch me not get the page now. That was a memorable guess. She was different in many ways, but still left a similar impression like a fixer I used to know. You have a fixer you used to know? No. Have you heard of Callie? Callie? She was nicknamed the Red Mist. Oh, of course I do. She was one of the most distinctive fixer, even among the colors. How do you know her? I think I missed Roland's first line, too. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> she used to do all the cool stuff and then suddenly disappeared. Let's just say that she was a former colleague of mine. The Red Mist was powerful. Really, that's the only way to put it powerful. And she only took requests for others, not herself. I thought, man, it surely is true that you can do whatever you want when you're that strong. The floor of language and its librarian is... It's Gibera. Sheesh, this place stinks of cigarette smoke. We've got a heavy drinker down below and now a heavy smoker up above. Gotta smoke all I want now that I have a body that never gets sick. You must be Roland, Angela's helping hand. Yep, you know a lot for someone who just woke up. Hmm, not really sure that that counts as sleep. I was forced to watch everything going on in the library so far in my dream, so I don't feel all that refreshed. Well, that means you basically know what's up. You're a fixer, eh? Uh-huh, just a grade 9, though. Don't you pull my leg. What are you here for? Angela may have been naive enough to buy into your lies, but you aren't fooling me. What are you talking about? Have we met before? You see, I have some experience as a fixer in my first life. I can get a rough estimate of a fixer just from their looks. And you're definitely more than some clumsy grade 9. Did you make a scene and get demoted or something? Things happened out there. I'm not lying about being a grade 9 fixer, I swear on my grandmom. I don't know what you're plotting to pull off, but you'd better stay in line as long as I'm here. Some big boss you are. I wasn't plotting anything in the first place. Doesn't hurt to keep an eye on a fixer who made a big enough mess to be demoted to the bottom, unless you're just a fraud. That's enough talking for now. You get me the books, and I'll figure out the language. Hey, what makes you think you're so much better than me? What was your grade? The Red Mist. The Red Mist? What the hell? <laughs> All right, Roland, she was the most distinct color fixer. <laughs> yeah, Roland doesn't know that. <laughs> also, Roland, have we met before? <laughs> he flirting. Look at that. Oh. She actually does have Yum Yum and Eugene. What are these names? She actually does have a special passive. Um. Well, I know what to do for that. Book of She Association. <laughs> uh, this is going to really suck if I don't get a Eugene page because those unlock at level 90. Excuse me. Well, I mean, I guess they are unknown. Um, <laughs> I think it might happen later. Maybe, yeah. But as it stands, her page right now is garbage. So, let me just 
get these guys up to level 20 quick. I found no way to unlock these powers. Leveling a her to 30 didn't work. Okay, well, I guess it's just there for lore reasons then. I am, however, going to realize the page as much as I can. And by as much as I can, I mean get it at least high level. Since it's a patron librarian page, it probably doesn't take too much to get leveled up past. Burn. Pierce Mastery and Blunt Boost. Eh. Alright, let me just go ahead and empty these, because I never use these anyways. Also, her uh, outfit... The outfit for the clerks actually matches the outfit the clerks had in Lobotomy Corporation, I think. I'm pretty sure. She also smiles whenever she attacks? That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Fire is the key to her floor. Alright. Well, you know what this means. We need to try to get the Book of Valentine, the Book of Eugene, and the Book of Tenma. I'm not gonna book all book. I'm not gonna burn all my books of Chi Association because I'm probably just gonna get normal ones anyways. Also, a standard weapon is the perfect shape to eventually become mimicry. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I'll have to check it out because, you know. Let's see. Please give me a book of Eugene, or a page of Eugene. We got three of them. Okay. And I only got one for Tenma, but oh well. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> Alright. Well, you know what this means, right? She's gonna have Eugene's page, and the others are going to have Tenma and Valentine's pages. Speaking of the others, I've noticed quite a few new people in chat. And now I've got two new librarians. So, uh... <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. Also, these pages look really nice. By the way, let me realize I'm to level 20. Uh, I gotta actually burn some stuff. I'll burn... A bunch of not those. <laughs> I'll have to get more of the books later, but that's fine. Also, also, if you do a trait transfer on Patron Librarian of Language, you can see the level the passives unlock at. Well, I would love to, but apparently the trait transfers aren't my friend anymore. I have to get everything up to level 30 in order to do it. I need to burn three of these so I can level them all up. I'm going to have to grind for more books to burn, probably. Those cheap pages make Love Town's two-cost card actually good. I believe it. <laughs> and to be fair, Love Town's two-cost card wasn't bad. It just wasn't as good as other... Uh, two cost cards at the time. Oh boy, this takes a lot of experience to level up. Um, holy crap. I just want to get to level 20, game. I'm not even trying to get to level 30 right now. This is taking so many pages. Good lord. <laughs> Just need a page with traits, so level 10. Oh, okay. Alright, well, it's... What is overpower? That's a new passive. After winning a clash using a slash die, 35% chance to deal one bonus damage. That's new, and oh boy do I like that. Um... <laughs> I just want level 20. <laughs> Already running out of spy pages. 
And I'm out of survive pages, and I'm not even level 20 yet. <laughs> I feel like level 30 is a way to make battle XP actually worth something. True. Dodge Expertise 3. Oh, I didn't even notice Dodge Expertise. Uh, I gotta burn more books. <laughs> uh, we get a third passive at level 30. Hmm. Project Moon made that fitting design to bait you into making her wear Eugene's page so that you won't realize how OP she pages are on Netsack's floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, but I don't really build my... here. These are gonna be worth more when used, so I'll use these ones. Uh, <laughs> the thing about it is, though, is uh, I don't like choosing based on that. The reason I have Netzak explore the way that I do is for the pierce stuff. So Netzak gets tentacles, makes every enemy stagger in two hits. And that's basically the entire strat. All right. Yeah, these give way more XP when burnt. So that's convenient. And then Eugene, let me get Tenma's page leveled up. So I gotta burn pages that are actually high level if I want to get good experience now. Oh boy. Just burn two of those. I mean, I need to do that anyways, honestly. There we go. Block Mastery 1. Oh, Block Mastery 1 got boosted. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, the theme is wild? Oh, I will. Trust me. Also, that's way less... Uh, HP than what the actual enemies had. Does it still have... Yeah, Star's Battle was 75% less HP. I mean, I got Slash Overpower twice, so this setup doesn't bother me. Well, yum yum. Got one page of Extreme Edge, Blunt Overpower, oh boy. You have pretty much 54 HP, a glass cannon in a way. So I've checked the trait transfer trick. Red Mist unlocks at level 90. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. And then Block Mastery and Blunt Overpower, which I guess is fine, but he did get Blunt Pages, so it's okay. Yeah, these guys are not going to have a lot of HP, so maybe I'll take them into a weaker fight. Also, they have no battle symbols. <laughs> I really want them to lose their exhausted demons. I really don't. <laughs> the, I'm pretty sure I know the reason for that one. Like, this exhaustion thing to make a speed die become unavailable, this is so the fight isn't completely unbearable. Because that way you always have a way to target Eugene without having to redirect his attacks to do it. Yeah, Geb's Floor has two character openings, actually. But before I do that... I, I knew. Thank you, Project Moon. Uh, I'm going to send them... I'm going to send them to fight Gay's office. Why not? No, for us. Oh, you mean for us. Eugene is a girl. Oh, yeah, I know. I figured it out, like, halfway through the cutscene. Uh, <laughs> it took me a bit, though. It took me until Angela labeled her. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's see how this works out. No battle symbols, which is fine. Um, let's do it. Let's listen to this music. Alright. <laughs> What is this, Xenoblade? <laughs> Jesus. What the heck? Soundtrack? <laughs> Dynasty Warriors? Edgy. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Eugene, a girl thing. Yeah. It's edgy, but I like it. It's unapologetically edgy. And I like that. 
Yeah, see, like here, Dalok is attacking the broken dice. Cool edgy, yeah. Of course, I am paralyzed this turn, so... I am going to take a lot. Yeah. It's going to be hard for me to... I don't know how I managed that, to be honest. <laughs> I like how the first attack from the character, they kind of step back before hitting. Get up to a motion two. I haven't heard that. I don't think there is one. Uh, so when Tifereth first got added, she only had the one music track. The line from Roland you missed implied that he knew Eugene. No, he implied that before the fight. I knew he knew him. This should kill this guy, honestly. <laughs> but I'm not going to risk that. Ah, screw it. I'll do it anyways. I need to try this. I don't know if Desperate Struggle applies to both cards. I'm assuming it doesn't. Because that would be a bit powerful. I think Tiff has a new OST too. Oh. Okay, cool. I actually just lost <laughs> that. Um, It says all dice. Yeah, but it... It's the same as Wrath of Torment. Wrath of Torment doesn't boost everything. It says all dice. So... Yeah, see, because now I'm on a motion one, and the music hasn't changed. Yeah, I, I didn't expect there to be a new track for her once she got up there. But these pages seem really strong, as they're probably supposed to. Boom. Hurry, Project Moon, give us the music in YouTube, please. <laughs> okay. On the off chance that I get something for emotion level 3, I'm actually not going to kill her. <laughs> I can't kill the cute girl. So, uh, I need to actually hit her, though, is the problem. Never mind. <laughs> well, the floor's not finished, so we'll ha wait with bated breath for the rest of the song, yeah. Yeah, I can't even, I don't even think I can get there. So, just finish this. Oh! Hang on. Is she attacking? Got her. <laughs> Perfect ending. <laughs> wow. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I got the max roll there. What the actual fuck? You always get that. I don't know. It's... Really? <laughs> Why? I need this theme in my life anime. Badass move, Gavura. <laughs> Look, she needed something. <laughs> I can't unselect the floor. All right. So Tiferous Floor apparently got new music, but I don't have any, <laughs> any pages I can borrow. Let me empty all these bookshelves so I have the cards. Like, the cards aren't okay without u making use of the passives, honestly. Like, they're good enough to use in normal decks. You just normally wouldn't end up using them as well. Okay, and then Victor. Or Valentine, sorry. I got like four of them. I only got two. 
How did I get more of the legendary one than any of the others? <laughs> Anyways, uh, who wants to be them? Geb is over. Badass. Uh, should I call her worst ass? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, who would like to be the two new? Dr. Meister? All right. <laughs> I need to do it. Also, preferences of who you want to look like or nice ass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we know who now. So save that. You have any preferences on what you would like to look like? Not really? Okay, then I will make you randomly. And by randomly, I mean not actually randomly. You got like the worst mouth setting possible. <laughs> I hate the one that just has a constantly open mouth. You'll be a bit taller. The goodest badass. <laughs> Don't you mean the baddest badass? Also, these pages have ridiculous resistances. Like... One endure and one stagger weak on both of those, and then just two endures. But that's normal for gold pages. Okay, and the other one, uh, Dottis, you got any preferences for appearance? One day. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, it was beep boop. Okay. White everything. All right, gotcha. <laughs> Skip the 90. Skip the 90. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Just dot us. Works. So white everything. Got it. Max everything out. Grade two fixer? Grade three fixer? Yeah, I don't know. Boy, hair over one eye and ponytail and really happy. Oh, is there a hair over one eye thing? I think there is. That'd be this one, wouldn't it? I think. No, it's this one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, the heights didn't really register, but it might have something to do with the pages. Uh, let me quickly see. All the new pages we got. Boundary of infinite? Infinite? <laughs> All right. Ponytail with bald hair is perfect, you know? <laughs> I just don't believe it. <laughs> All right. You've got mostly Slash, so I'm not going to worry about you. I got a lot of pages for most of them. All the flashing strikes I have are on Dottis. <laughs> but aside from that, I just need to get more of Valentine and Tenma's pages, and I'll have good amounts. It's going to be fun farming these guys. 
I will flash them. Just don't. <laughs> Alright. So you said Tifereth got new uh, stuff, new music, did you? So let me try and see if I can't activate that. That's a cursed sprite. <laughs> I'm glad that those aren't broken anymore. Spoilings page, there we go. Uh, I'll just put together something quickly. This has pierce boost, so I'll just stick with piercing stuff. Just give me trans pierce. I don't give a crap about the other. Uh, hold up. Where? Is it a level two? Extreme Edge is a level two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll accept that. Quick stabs, and then there's gotta be a good pierce level one, right? Yeah, unavoidable gaze. That block and pierce, all right. <laughs> block and pierce means I can actually use trance pierce. I'm gonna take weight ups on this one. Uh. Zap, put in an extreme edge, and then uh, <laughs> there, there's really not good Pierce level ones. It's all level two. Heku gets Pierce boost. Wouldn't you know it? Um, why am I not surprised? Finally, my floor is not neglected. It, it, like, your floor will get used a lot more once they actually add abnormality pages for Tifereth. Blunt focus page. Let's fill it with Pierce. Well, the boosts I have are Pierce. So that's the reason I'm doing that. All right, let's see if we can't. I'm gonna go with an easier one. I'm gonna go with Olga. Just so I know I can win. Did I miss everything? Maybe. <laughs> you haven't missed me reading the stories of the new pages. <laughs> That's the one thing you haven't missed, Demo. I'm sorry. All right, she resists Pierce. Um, this is a horrible set. At least that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but. I actually roll max. You know, I'm really lucky with that. Rolling max on attacks is not something I normally get. It's playing Terraria mod with friends. Hey, at least you're doing something fun. Ah, yes. There are musics for Tifereths. Good to know. Let me try to keep my attacks weak then. You don't even need to do anything. Uh, sure. And high speed stab against that daring decision. Why not? You resist pierce anyway, so it's fine. It's gonna hurt, but not so much that I can't deal with it. Hopefully, emotion one switches it back. <laughs> wow, this music is like not fitting at all. Um. <laughs> I got the stupid special music. Because that always happens for some reason. Fix it, bug. <laughs> oh, it's extended, not added. Oh. So I should just listen, is what you're saying. All right, let me quickly end this fight then, and then I'll listen to it again. On, like, the rats one. Because <laughs> they're easy. 
Did I really just roll a one? Thanks. You even check your burrow floor music? Yes, I did. And it was quite edgy, but that was to be expected. Um. <laughs> Screw using Zap. Use Transpierce. Kill him. <laughs> uh, am I really gonna stagger from this? No, I didn't. Bop. Gotta watch VODs, yeah. <laughs> wow, Mika just doesn't want to die, which makes sense. Now that I think about it. Can't do anything. Tail thing. And that's the fight, folks. <laughs> 4 30 a.m. Good lord. <laughs> Curtain call. I don't care what I get from it. Let me go and listen to it in the rats group then. Since they're easy. On two positive NPCs emotion cards when I'm at playing actually. When another ally gets attacked, gain one strength next scene, and at the start of the scene, gain one strength. Okay, so it seems that all NPCs get emotion cards when they reach higher emotion levels now. Gotta go sleep? Alright, Hourlat, thanks for staying awake for until 4.30am just to watch. I appreciate it. You have a good night then. Alright, let's listen to this theme for just a minute. It's fun that uh, they added a bunch of new stuff. Wait, I don't know what I'm saying. The strength one was also with Philip. That is true. I did realize that. The scene was only 30 seconds long normally. This is about where it ends, actually. This is quite good, actually. Holy crap. It's still new stuff, by the way. <laughs> it really does, too, yeah. There, now it reset. It just ended. Okay, now I need them to give Tifereth her abnormalities so I can stop neglecting her floor. <laughs> because, good God, I want to listen to this music more often. Get them all. <laughs> it is super good, yeah. Yay, books of rats. Because I need more of those. <laughs> Alright. Last thing, then, is to read the stories. So we'll start with the standard She Association one. Yeah, story time. <laughs> Being an organization that is familiar with dealing death, the She's Code of Honor is to treat every person equally, as the weight of death is equal for everyone. As long as the request fee is paid, we remove the target with no questions asked, regardless of who the client is, what kind of crime they may have committed, or any other details. The boss of a syndicate known for murdering people in cold blood, a criminal wanted by a street somewhere, Wandering an identity for a person of a higher status who often bribes, even requests to kill one's own friends and family. We handle all requests without leaning to a side. Of course, we have a duty to confidentiality to uphold for our clients. We mustn't give in and maintain silence even in the face of immediate threats of death. Such are the rules and mindsets of the She Association's members must abide by. 
However, the recent behavior of the Southern Branch goes against the core values of the Shi. On top of exerting power for her private interest, her selfish actions are causing severe damage to Section 2. All of us are eagerly waiting for Director Eugene to overthrow this rotten system one day. Uh, <laughs> and Valentines. Thelma, head of the Southern Branch. By the way, was mentioned in the Urban Legend cutscene. I went back and went through everything to see what groups we might fight in the future. Oh, well, good luck with that. Yeah, I may have just killed her. Thelma, head of the Southern Branch, has been overworking Section 2 to a nonsensical degree lately. The requests she's giving us are burdensome to take once per week, and she's constantly cramming them down our throats, sapping the strength and will of out of our section. It's unclear, but if we can successfully handle the mission to the library, but it's painstakingly obvious that she'll give us another request to take care of immediately afterwards, even if we could. Most of our surviving crew are losing what little motivation we have left. As for why she insists on using Section 2 when the other sections are available, she's probably trying to get rid of Director Eugene because she suspects that our director knows something about the Blue Reverberation. It's unacceptable that someone could use a branch leader of an association to make a toy of the entire association color or not, especially if the goal is to remove our Director Eugene. I'm not sure what plan Director Eugene has to overcome this, but I suppose that can wait until we've finished our mission. Then, Tenma. From the receipt of the request into preparation for execution, that was a sentence. Every step of an assassination is carried out covertly. Discreet killing is the Shi Association specialty. An all-out war in open fields where numerous people clash at once is not our preferred form of battle, though it's one of the areas where the Liu Association excels. We truly shine when we operate in small numbers. We pursue extreme efficiency in order to kill our target without the limited, within the limited window of opportunity. Also required is the ability to make quick assessments of the situation in order to swiftly strike the target's vital point with minimal movement. The demand for assassination requests is pretty high these days, as the most surefire way to eliminate people armed with high-quality workshop equipment on top of body augments is sneaking up on them for a fatal blow when they least suspect it. Still, the streets aren't being filled with corpses of assassinated targets because there are fixers whose job it is to kill those who were hired for assassination. Fixers are continuing their fierce strife no matter the place. Back with ice cream. All right, chill. And finally, Eugene's page. And I can already tell this is going to be a big one. Argalia, alias the Blue Reverberation, the person who is known to furtively cause incidents. Recently, he is suspected of recruiting individuals wielding powers that are possibly related to the distortion phenomenon in an attempt to form an organization. As well as prying into his plots, I intend to hamper his efforts myself before collecting data and presenting evidence of his irregular activity to the head. As the Blue Reverberation's plot was already in motion, I needed to act quick and do the least I could to stop him. However, she Association was too fatigued from the barrage of requests, so I asked Full Stop Office to deal with the Church of Gears, whose leader seemed to harness a power that resembles the distortion, but I haven't heard from them since. Perhaps they were eliminated in their mission at the hands of the church. Or, if the Blue Reverberation expected the Fixer's arrival and toyed with them, then I will definitely have to get to the library and read their books. There was evident rationale to read the books of the musicians of Bremen as well, for they could contain even the slightest hint on the Blue Reverberation's plots he might have told them. Even I do not know the man in detail, admittedly. However, because I am certain that the Blue Reverberation is conspiring something that violates or will violate the rules stipulated by the head, I must gather crucial evidence and report it. I know how corrupt this association is. I am woefully aware of Thelma's cunning and unhinged purpose behind saddling Section 2 with one request after another and wearing us down. I am but waiting for the right time waiting and enduring until I seize the chance to bring the Shi back to glory. I firmly believe that everything will take a turn for the better once I take care of this work. I pledge to change the system with my hands, no matter what. Oh no, Grim. <laughs> yeah, Grim, Gabura was added today, 
and you just missed everything. <laughs> so, something tells me that Eugene is still going to be important to the story, even though she's dead now. Fucking hot update. Yeah, it was also the first update to add an Urban Nightmare class opponent. And that's very fitting for the class of opponent we fought today. The She Association Section 2 is crazy strong. Um... <laughs> also, uh, Grim? <laughs> this page. If the die rolls the max value that is 4 or higher, add 45 power. Which is too much. Uh, <laughs> I want to see her in the cutscene. Oh, you will. <laughs> she doesn't actually... I can quickly unequip this. This is what she looks like. Now let me re-equip that. <laughs> Which one? It was this one. Because Eugene's page is definite. But that was everything. Yeah, it did look like a smith-type area. Oddly enough. Um, but yeah, that's everything that was added. It only took me an hour and 45 minutes. Um, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and find somebody who's live with library if I can. Or lobotomy, either one. It's gonna take me a second though, because my computer is super slow. Yeah, Gavura's side thing is probably gonna take some time. I'm the only one streaming library. <laughs> uh, there are several people doing lobotomy. Does anybody have a request for who I should raid? stream so I can watch VOD. <laughs> I know, I, I, I do. I've got no one right now. Okay. I am going to send people to somebody playing Lobotomy then. Uh, there's one person playing who I know is currently active. So, we'll go to that one. Eternal Savvy. Never raided him before, but oh well. Uh, yes, you should do the next day in Lobotomy Corp. Uh, so this is tonight's stream. Uh, I'll probably not be streaming at all this weekend. Because tomorrow I'm not going to be home in the evening. And the day after that is the day I plan on building my PC. So I don't know how long that would take. But I'm going to go ahead and just do this quick. I have a Discord, and I always announce before I go live. Library is currently not happening only once a week. But I mean, that's still plenty for updates in my opinion. But again, thank you all for coming, and I will see you back hopefully on Monday. If not Monday, then Wednesday. And you all have a good night, a good afternoon, and yeah, I hope, look forward to seeing you too, fellow Dalek enthusiast. Have a good day.